Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for your attention today. I uh, want to make it very clear that um, and thank leadership in the House and in the Senate uh, for working together uh, over this weekend, uh, both Republicans and Democrats in each respective legislative chamber. Uh, today, I want to make it very clear, starting off this press conference, that uh, in the state of Oklahoma, the government uh, is, will, is working, is functioning, and will continue to work and function uh, for the people of the state of Oklahoma. Um, over the weekend, the decision was made to call for a, a joint caucus uh, meetings of both majority and minorities for an, an update from the Department of Health on the most current situation in the state of Oklahoma uh, regarding COVID-19 and what we might uh, expect. Uh, as you can imagine, people in the state of Oklahoma have, uh, are eager to, for information on this uh, a situation facing our state that other states have already uh, dealing with. The, uh, we want to thank the health officials uh, for responding to that call. We had very positive uh, presentations today, and with the legislature feels like it is in a uh, good position to communicate uh, with, its, uh, with their individual constituencies on this case. Uh, we will continue to listen to those health organizations. Uh, based upon uh, information received uh, from health organizations, uh, we are in agreement that uh, beginning today that we will uh, restrict uh, and limit access uh, to the state capitol. Um, following what other states uh, have done in order to uh, try to stop, play our part in stopping uh, the spread of COVID-19. Uh, we, are, we are limiting access uh, going forward to elected officials, essential capital staff, credentialed press members, and state employees that are invited uh, to uh, essential meetings that may work outside of this building. Uh, this, this decision is to, um, is to help the public safe, public health of our of the members that serve here and represent the state of Oklahoma as well as the public. It's very important for us, the conversations that we're having today, and we'll continue to have over the next few days. Um, we both, uh, both chambers plan to be in session again tomorrow. Have, um, to, this week is spring break uh, week for, uh, our, for our children, our students throughout the state. We had previously planned only to work on Monday and Tuesday. Um, but we are making, uh, we are taking and discuss, uh, taking actions to, to uh, deploy contingencies regarding uh, anything that may, may face uh, our state and the legislature. Uh, we are committed to finish, finishing this constitutional session and fulfilling our constitutional duties to the people of the state of Oklahoma. What, uh, what this means effectively uh, and immediately um, there, uh, there will be, we'll be suspending tours, field trips, uh, receptions, uh, rallies, and visits to the Capitol at this time. I do want to note that we are looking at this on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not necessarily a suspension in uh, perpetuity uh, or indefinitely um, by the House's uh, position. Uh, we are limiting, uh, we will continue to stream um, all activities of the House, uh, our, and all activities of the House and legislature, I believe, are planned to, uh, will be archived and access to the public uh, remotely. Our page programs uh, will be uh, suspended after this week, and um, we will continue to stay in very close con uh, communication uh, with one another. Once again, uh, we are just looking at measures that continue to keep the legislature uh, in a functional situation uh, regarding what what might arise uh, unconventional you know in this unconventional situation so at that I at so having said that I'd like to uh, recognize my counterpart and colleague of the Senate uh, senator and president pro tem of the Oklahoma Senate senator Greg treat to make a few comments senator thank you 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you to Leader Floyd and Leader Virgin for being here as well and working with us as we take this issue very seriously at the Oklahoma State Capitol. Uh, effective immediately in the Oklahoma State Senate, as the Speaker spoke to, uh, we are suspending the PAGE program on a moving forward basis. We have 10 pages this week, but we will suspend those on a going forward basis. Uh, we will no longer allow outside groups to have meetings in the uh, Senate space until further notice and we are limiting access uh, in the gallery to members of the press uh, until further notice. Uh, we want to make sure we do our part in keeping Oklahomans safe and healthy. Uh, we, after we depart from the Capitol, we go to all corners and all areas of the state and we want to make sure that we contribute to keeping Oklahoma uh, safe and healthy and trying to flatten that curve. We are absolutely committed to it. I want to thank the speaker for his continued communication over the weekend. I think we talked more this weekend than we have in a while. Uh, the governor, um, Superintendent Hoffmeister, other leaders of the state in constant communication over the week. We do not take these decisions lightly. Uh, we are not in a panic, but we are taking this serious to try to make sure uh, that we protect our, our staff our members and the, the public of Oklahoma. Thank you so much. And I'm going to turn it over to Leader Virgin for some comments. Good afternoon. I want to talk a little bit about uh, what the House specifically did today in terms of protecting ourselves and protecting the rest of uh, the people who are going to be frequenting the building. As many of you saw, we adopted a new House rule that will allow voting by proxy. And I want to commend Leader Eccles and his staff and the House uh, parliamentarian for making sure that we could get that done today. What that means is that on an emergency basis, we would be able to send just a few people to the House floor in order to vote on very important measures. That would include the state budget, which is our only constitutional duty as a legislature. We feel that it's very important that we did this in a bipartisan manner, um, specifically because we feel that it is incumbent upon this body to set a good example for the general public. We're talking every day about social distancing and staying home, and especially if you have symptoms, and that should apply to our body as well. So we felt that this was very important to set a good example, um, and so I want the public to know that we are taking those recommendations that we're giving to the public, we're taking those recommendations very seriously. Further, I think uh, we want the public to know that we are in constant communication with the State Department of Health, with uh, the governor's office, and with each other in terms of what we will do going forward as a legislature. As the speaker said, it's important that we stay functioning as a government, that the public still have access to what we are doing through our live streaming capabilities but that we limit uh, what actually takes place physically inside the Capitol building to make sure that we are, as Senator Treat said, doing our part to flatten the curve. So I'd like to thank uh, the legislative leaders assembled here for making this a bipartisan issue, uh, making it a nonpartisan issue, and making sure that we're communicating and uh, staying in touch and protecting the public as much as possible. Uh, Leader Floyd. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Um, I echo the sentiments of, of what my colleagues have said. You, you have seen right now that this is, in fact, a public health issue. Uh, we, none of us look at this as a partisan or nonpartisan issue. This is public health, and we are deeply, deeply concerned about that. Uh, Senator Pro uh, Senate Pro Tem Treat has laid out some uh, actions that the Senate has already taken, and we will continue to be deliberative about those actions, uh, making them based on information that we get from the uh, health care authority, health care experts in the state. So. Um, I feel confident with this moving forward. I feel like that we will work together quite well, and we are going to stay, and we are going to do our job. I just want to echo what's already been said. You, um, I want to thank especially uh, Leader Virgin. Uh, we had a historic uh, bipartisan caucus in the House. I believe the, the Senate had the same thing since I have been in the legislature. Um, we, we've never had anything like that. 
uh, I was, uh, I'll, I say something I said uh, on a text string uh, with the Democrat leaders and the Republican leaders. I've always been proud uh, to stand with the pro tem and the, and the speaker. Um, but this week I was really proud to stand in Oklahoma House leadership that wasn't just the Republican House, but with, with Leader Virgin, with, uh, with uh, Chairwoman Munson. Um, what we did today uh, is very unprecedented in the House, moving forward with the proxy voting system. Um, I want to explain we did that to be a good example. Um, we, because we are a large body, as of 101 members, we have uh, issues that the Senate as a smaller body doesn't have to deal with, and, and that's why we move forward with that. I mean, there's a chance that there could be recommendations at some time in the future that 101 member bodies not meet. Uh, so that's why we move forward with that in a bipartisan way. We also, to set a good example, um, have agreed with the Senate, and we will be passing bills that allow both chambers to adjourn to a call of the chair, meaning it allows both chambers to adjourn. We're giving both chambers permission to adjourn not to a date certain. Uh, again, wanting to be good examples, wanting to give the opportunity that we are doing our part. We're not just telling our citizens to social distance and to take, take proper steps, but the legislature is doing those things uh, and working very well together, and that's why we did those things.